Happy birthday, as well. You always find the latest courtyard. Coming in solution. Get out of the box. Hello, and welcome to Radio Waves by Totterbert. Today I'll be reviewing the Sony ICF 51. I purchased this radio from eBay for a total of $31.48. It was a Japanese import. So I'm going to put the radio aside and show you the packaging it came in. I figured I'd take it out of the packaging because it's a bit of a struggle. This is kind of what the packaging looks like. FM AM. If you can read what that says. A little picture of it. Backside. It's a pretty basic radio. I'm sure we're going to do okay here. Still made in China, but still a quality radio. Okay, so what came inside the blister pack? Let's show you. So we got some paperwork. Um, first for me opening this up. Talking about the medium wave band it looks like. How to face your radio. Headphones. Okay. It's interesting. FM. Okay, so it's it just looks like a basic information guide. <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny symbols. All right, put that aside. Let's see what else we got. Uh, I'm guessing warranty maybe. Yeah, it's like it looks like a lot of warnings. <laughs> I love these cards. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yeah, when it's raining outside. <laughs> yeah, I love it. All right. These are hilarious. <laughs> I love that. The Japanese have fun making the little cartoon things. Okay. Um, what's This is probably a service type thing. Okay. This is showing up with the batteries in. And how to use the antenna. Okay. Wow. All right. Well, there we go. We'll figure this out together. Okay. So that was in the box. Oh, also we get two AAA batteries, Sony branded. With some alkaline. So that was nice. Didn't expect to have that. Set those off to the side. We're gonna put them on the radio in a bit. So here's the radio. Um, let's cover dimensions real quick. Um, it is four inches long, two and a half inches high and one inch in depth. And you know, I did not measure. On the front there you see a little speaker and it's pretty small. About an inch and an eighth. Yeah, that's a pretty small speaker. But there it is. We got the Sony brand and like a chrome finish and it's raised. I like that. It's a sign of quality. Um, on top here we have the band select FM and AM and you can see the band on AM runs from 530 to 1600 and then the FM runs from a really low was it probably 70 to 108 guessing that starts at 70 um, tuning indicator over there that light turns red we have our antenna on top it just comes up and swivels just pretty much straight up and off to the side here that's all it does it's pretty tight um, this extends out to 11 and a half inches We'll put that away till we use the FM. Uh, on the left side of the radio, we have a little tiny volume knob. It's kind of recessed there. I actually like that. It's nice. And then over here, we have a very large tuning wheel. So we can tune it there. If you notice our Japanese writing. Oh, and also your on off switch. More Japanese writing. And yeah, it's kind of embossed in the plastic. Over here, we have our headphone port. I tested it, and wow, it's. But I didn't even know they use this tech still. Single ear, left ear only. Um, yeah, I don't even say why you even bother. This is definitely just like a mini pocket radio. Um, I w wouldn't even bother with an earpiece. I didn't even know they did that anymore on new radios from Sony, but they do. Okay, on the back, we have a vented cabinet for some bass response and our battery door. This battery door is pretty nice. Got little nubs there to grip onto. And we can click it open and flip it. It's a hinged, a little bit of foam there. Uh, the batteries go in one direction, so we'll go ahead and put those in right now. 
two AAA batteries. These are really nice. I like uh, how they fit in there. Nice and easy and very easy to close, all one-handed. Oh, on the bottom of the radio, looks like we got some embossed information there, um, giving you the model number, batteries, brand. So, very cool. All right, let's go ahead and go on AM here. We'll start at the bottom of the band and start tuning away. See what it sounds like. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tune this and I'm going to flip it up once in a while so you can see where I'm at. That is pure fruits and vegetables. 31, a variety of 31 of them with 10 servings packed within each uh, day's... Wisconsin station, I'm guessing. WSB. The remarks reportedly made at a bipartisan immigration meeting this week. When President Trump made his now infamous. Sounds really good for a little speaker. Canadian station, 860. Cool. Not sure the music station there. Okay, coast to coast, the 840, um, Louisville. This thing is sensitive. Next 
Because of Andy Reid, I don't know. Thank you, Nachos. Yes. And it was just... 800 504 That's 800 504 Because when it comes to buying an annuity, shopping rates and products can save you thousands. Call 800 504 800 504 Message and data rates may apply. Earning your degree from one of the top business schools. Excited for you. I really am. Hey, Colton. Hey, Colton. So, does the, you know, one thing you could do, does the, does the firm come from Linksys or do they... It does come from Linksys. <laughs> How huge was that immaculate reception that you talked about a little bit? Outra dica é sair cedo, como eu também meio que mencionei já. Uh, se conduz. Wanting to kill anybody. I told him I'd see the cops and maybe they'd say it was okay if George paid for all the damage to that sports store and behave himself from now on. That didn't make him feel much better because it was getting awfully close to two o'clock in his meeting with Julie. I told him that I'd call Julie and inform her that he'd suddenly come down with a slight case of bubonic plague or something. I got the name of the company off the jukebox in the after hour. Cool. So yeah, that's my local station doing classic radio tonight. Um, wow, that was a lot of radio stations in that band. I love the pure analog um, dial there, no step tuning at all. Um, it's little radio surprising me. So let's go to the FM, see if we can find any stations there. We're not going to find anything at the bottom of the band, but we'll go ahead and extend our antenna. And I'm going to kind of point it to the direction of the city to see if that helps. And we'll go ahead and see if we can hear anything. Pretty hard to tune because we have starting right in the middle and that's our band right there so we we don't get any of that side
pretty finicky on the reception here. like it. Let's go ahead and turn this off. Put our antenna back down. Give our final thoughts real quick. Um, yeah, I just wanted to spend the time tuning this because what a little AM monster this is. Wow. I mean, I didn't show you the deck of cards, but it's it's a deck of cards here. I mean, it's really close. Um, yeah, I really like this radio. It is just a cute little pocket-sized radio. Uh, it's available in red too. Um, I'm just not a fan of red typically unless it's an emergency radio. But uh, I really like this radio a lot. Um, I don't care for the headphone port. Uh, this probably won't be used ever with a headphone. Uh, I don't know why they did that single channel like that, but that's what they did. Um, but as you saw, pure analog, which is just fantastic. Um, the band on the AM was amazing. There are so many faint stations that if I spent some time, I could probably tune them in uh, by you know, rotating and moving this around. Maybe even getting in a loop, one of those uh, antenna loops, to boost its uh, reception. I bet you it would work fantastic with this. But uh, what a cute little Sony radio. Um, do I recommend this as a buy? Heck yeah. Um, if you want a small, portable radio, give it a go. I know Sony makes the uh, P26 uh, and the 36, and they're like $20. And you're gonna spend like eleven dollars more for this, uh, but uh, this this performs just as well as the other, and this just looks a little bit more different. I like I just like how different it is. It sits up nice. Um, it's got a cool form factor, and yeah, definitely worth the money if you're in the market for a small portable. Uh, Sony is a, a well-known brand, and yeah, you have to import this one, but you know I think it's worth it. Alrighty, well there we go. Thank you for watching.